Hey everybody, welcome to my video about using your cellular Apple Watch like a phone. In this video, I'm going to go over the pros, cons, and best practices so you can see how handy it can be, but also understand its limitations. So first of all, you'll need to make sure you have a cellular Apple Watch Series 3 or 4 that is set up on a plan with your service provider. The great thing about having a cellular Apple Watch is that it allows you to step away from your iPhone for a period of time and not be completely unavailable. This could be great if you're going for a jog or taking a break away from your desk. Bear in mind that cellular Apple Watch is not a replacement for your iPhone, as it has a much smaller battery with a shorter talk time. When using the Apple Watch in cellular mode, instead of connected through Bluetooth to your iPhone, it only has a one hour talk time. When connected to your iPhone via Bluetooth, the talk time doubles to a minimum of two hours on Series 4 and three hours on Series 3 according to Apple. So this is a great feature while away from your iPhone for a time during the day, but it definitely won't replace your iPhone for the whole day. There are a couple of different ways to use your Apple Watch as a cell phone. First, using the speakerphone option, which of course is default. I found the speakerphone option on my Series 4 to be pretty good considering its small size. But of course, using it this way lacks privacy. If you'd like a more private telephone experience with your Apple Watch, you'll need to use Bluetooth headphones like AirPods or any Bluetooth headphones that have a built-in mic. Then, you'll have a pretty normal cellular phone experience, all from the convenience of your wrist. I've had a great user experience using my AirPods with my Apple Watch, while on phone calls. The phone call sounds the same as it does through my iPhone when I use my AirPods, and the signal strength has been on par with my iPhone. When your Apple Watch is fully in cellular mode, you'll see the cellular indicator turn green in Control Center, and the signal strength indicator appear above it with dots. By default, if your watch is in Bluetooth range of your iPhone, it will default to a Bluetooth connection to your iPhone, as this uses less power. If for some reason you want to force your Apple Watch to cellular mode, just turn off Bluetooth on your iPhone. Other than the indicator in Control Center, I found the user experience for phone calls and text messages to be the same on my Apple Watch. The apps don't appear to function any differently. Just for a quick overview, to make a phone call, simply open the phone app. Then you can dial quickly from your favorites, recents, or contacts. You can also load the keypad and dial the number manually if you like. One weird thing I've noticed, and it may just be my provider, but when I go to check my voicemail, it refers me to check it on my iPhone. I find that kind of annoying. I wish they would just remove the option from the menu instead. For text messages, you can simply load the messages app. Again, it works the same whether it's using a cellular connection or connected via Bluetooth to your iPhone. If you'd like to learn more about text messages on your Apple Watch, you can check out my video, How to Send and Receive Texts on Any Apple Watch. I'll leave a link in the description below. One last thing I thought was interesting to note was that I found other features like email, maps, and even walkie-talkie all work as normal when your Apple Watch is in cellular mode. The cellular Apple Watch is really handy and even lets you spend some time away from your iPhone for a while, just not the whole day yet. If you enjoyed this video, or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.